To talk about the Democrats' phony moral outrage over sexual abuse, we're joined by one of Bill Clinton's accusers, Juanita Broderick, and Christina Hoff Summers, an American Enterprise Institute scholar who studies politics and gender and feminism in her classic book, The War Against Boys, kind of went into a lot of what boys face in society today. It's great to see both of you, uh, Juanita and uh, Christina Hoff Summers. Uh, Christina, I'm going to start with you. Unpack what Michelle was talking about there, the former first lady, about it's a dangerous world for women and we kind of protect our men. What, what, what was she getting at there? It, well, I, and, and then also saying that men grow up to be entitled. We're raising our little boys to be entitled right. and self-righteous. It's so much the opposite is the case. In schools, boys face a rather hostile environment. They're far less likely to get good grades to go to college. And we need to ad address those problems. And I don't see entitled little boys. I see ne many, many neglected boys. I'm, I'm thinking maybe she was just speaking off the cuff and wasn't thinking, because it, it just, uh, she evinced such uh, sort of hostility towards little boys and the men they become. And I, and I think it's a problem that people will take the worst case male and then project that into the entire male population, including little boys. And this is something that's done by sort of hardline feminists. And we're raising boys to be to be strong, but what does that mean? And, and well, I mean, we the, should raise them to be gentlemen, that's Of course, sure. but, uh, and, but the thing that was kind of left out of that conversation was really fathers and an yes. intact family, which is so important for, for children. I mean, I'm a single mother, believe, I know, it's not ideal. I mean, it can be fine and it's admirable for women to do, it's really tough and it's admirable, but without fathers, it's a lot harder. Well, sociologists, Experts from the right and the left have come together. It's the one thing they agree on is the importance of fathers in the lives of particularly sons. Broken families take a higher toll on young male development. Absolutely. And Juanita, I want to uh, go to you on this issue because when, when you listen to Michelle Obama and she talked about, you know, protecting men who clearly talking about men who are not behaving. You know, of course, it came to mind Hillary Clinton, the ultimate enabler of a man's abusive behavior. Remember the bimbo eruptions, what you allege she said to you all those years after your allegations that Bill Clinton sexually assaulted you back in 1978, uh, and yet Michelle Obama is talking about how bad it is to protect abusive men. Oh, I know. It's, it's absolutely ridiculous. And all I can say is, if Michelle Obama truly thinks and believes in the statements that she made, thank goodness she didn't raise boys. You know, and I have no idea uh, what part maybe Bill Clinton's mother played in his influencing his life, but I do know that he hid behind the skirt tail of Hillary Clinton. Uh, she went after us with a vengeance, I mean, and declared us the bimbo eruption, uh, this woman has no conscience whatsoever. And Juanita, from all these years later, uh, does, does any of this surprise you? You know, the, the Weinsteins and uh, the Clintons come out five days later after Harvey Weinstein, allegations one after the other after the other surface. And no, I mean, it, it took. I mean, no, I was like it, counting how many days is it going to take for both the Obamas and the Clintons to come out with a statement? And pretty much all these people were coming out except the, you know, close friends. I know it's it's absolutely ridiculous, Laura, uh, that they waited that length of time to come out. They were close to Weinstein. They, I, I, I can bet you that they knew exactly what was going on in his territory. It's hard to believe, Christina, by the way, that Bill Clinton who's as sophisticated as he is, and Hillary Clinton, who's supposedly as smart as she is, they didn't know what even I knew or had heard about Harvey Weinstein going all the way back to 1997. But they were saying, oh, I've never, right. never heard of anything like this. Yeah, uh, the, well, right. there were a lot yeah. of enablers, and, you know, there's hypocrisy. <laughs> what do you think about the whole Hollywood? Oh, I'm going I'm to get into that, l that later, but the one incident well, after another, it's just all one second. When it, all uh, the Hollywood spectrum, they're always wagging their fingers, moralizing about recycling and global war to warming the and the environment. It, yes, the moralizing and, and while allowing this to go on and really not taking, people knew about it. There were no efforts to 
control it in some way, and hopefully it will change. My only worry is that we're going to go from indifference to sexual predation into a kind of vigilantism. Exactly. As I saw a few days ago, it's, uh, there was an article in the Washington Post by someone that was indignant about George Bush Sr. He had touched in his wheelchair at 93, he had just touched someone, and he, she spoke about a toxic environment. And so all toxic suddenly, wheelchair again, all men are implicated in the crimes of I'm few. just worried. I'm worried now. You're right, and, and Anita and <laughs> Christina, that you can't even like <laughs> tell a woman, "Well, you look, you look great today," or "I love your outfit." Like men are going to be afraid. They're going to be afraid to be near, say anything because there's it's, it's, now we've gone to a <laughs> sterile to work the environment. Extreme opposite. It's, no, it's, and that will that, right. that, 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 that makes it everything unfun. So there has to be a middle ground of just treating each other well and, and treating each other with yes, respect. Yes, kindness, kindness and respect. Yes, courteousness. <laughs> and Juanita, thank yeah. you for joining us. Christina, thank you so much for joining us.